Hello everyone, uh, my name is Firas Shari, I'm a CWNE 348. Um, I'm a senior Wi-Fi engineer. Um, I work, um, I have been testing and working with the 802.11ax standard for almost three years now. And um, I, mean, I have learned um, a lot um, from my daily testing from the all the literature that you know the amazing Wi-Fi community has put out. Um, reading the um, IEEE drafts for the um, uh, for the standard, and um, I thought uh, that I I need to share my experience and my learning with the Wi-Fi community. Um, like I said, this is gonna be um, uh, so. This is gonna be the first video of a series of videos about the you know the most important features of the eight to eleven AX standard. Um, all the information in this video are um, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, the way how I um, understood, like uh, from reading um, literature, uh, drafts, uh, papers, um, you know, my daily testing and all of that. So. Um, please uh, reach out if there is any misinformation or something that I did not understand correctly. Um, please help me um, correct that and, you know, uh, spread the correct information uh, to people. Uh, that being said, um, so to, uh, it's gonna be, those gonna be a series of videos of around five, 10 minutes on each topic. Uh, but um, today I'm just gonna go through the agenda and what to expect from like this training. Um, so the training agenda will be will cover the following points. So uh, the first we're gonna start with you know AC versus AX. So we're moving from AC to AX, and everybody is wondering. So what we what's new with AX? And this video is gonna cover. Um, uh, the beginning of the vi the the first video is gonna cover those um, you know new features in AX and how they differ from AC. Uh, then we're gonna move on to the concept of the PBDU uh, in AX. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, what is the new structures of uh, the PBDUs um, and all of that? Um, the next point will be OFDMA. Uh, OFDMA as a technology is not a new technology. It has been around for quite some time. Uh, as a part of the LTE, you know, um, and 3G, um, 4G, and now 5G networks, but it's quite new to um, Wi-Fi, um, and um, I mean, I would argue it's probably the most important um, um, addition to Wi-Fi, um, only second to the, you know, the opening of the six gigahertz uh, when it comes to Wi-Fi, um, and we'll talk about the difference between OFDMA and OFDM. Um, then there's gonna be another um, topic, another video about what's the difference between OFDMA, CSMA, the way we have been doing um, channel access for the last 20 years or so, and then um, what's new with OFDM, OFDMA. Uh, then we're gonna move to um, how OFDMA work. Uh, we have two types of OFDMA. We have the uplink OFDMA, we have the downlink OFDMA. Um, the, the video is gonna talk about like the, um, how this work, what is the benefits of that, uh, uh, you know, um, the, um, uh, the frame exchange that happens to enable all of DMA, uh, uplink and downlink and um, yeah. Uh, then we'll move to um, issue MIMO and multi-user MIMO. And it's one of the topics that I wanna stress a little bit on because uh, what I have noticed is there is a lot of literature out there on the, you know, off DMA, and a lot of people has been talking about off DMA, but uh, not a lot of people has, um, they have touched on the, you know, multi-user MIMO topic in AX, um, even though that um, multi-user MIMO in AX is actually a completely different um, renovated process. It's like the way we do multi-user MIMO in AX is completely different from how we used to do in, um, 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 AC. Uh, plus, we have, of course, the addition of like the uplink multi-user MIMO, which is going to be a wave two addition. Um, so, yeah, multi-user MIMO is quite different from what we used to um, and what we're familiar with uh, in AC. 
Uh, and that's going to be, like I said, um, um, a, a topic in its own. So I'm going to dedicate like a, a short video for the difference between AC, um, downlink multi-user MIMO and AC, compare that to the AX. It's going to include, um, you know, packet capture, uh, the, the, the frame exchange, and the, um, an explanation of the whole process. Uh, then I'm going to touch on the topic of pieces coloring and spatial reuse. Uh, this is one of the two, um, um, you know, main um, features that um, expected to reduce um, uh, interference and um, and um, and help in dense um, um, environments. Um, also, that then we're going to move to the target wait time. So basically, um, target wait time is one of the features that. Um, 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 has been added to the AX um, with the um, uh, with the benefit in mind that this will help um, you know um, opening Wi-Fi to the IoT world. So it's like the TWT major um, um, benefit is the time saving that those small devices, the battery time, uh, battery saving that those devices can achieve by going for sleep for a very long period of times. Um, then we're going to talk about the AB scheduler and why it's now it's very important when it comes to AX and how like um, the, you know, the general characteristic of a scheduler and why, um, you know, even if even if you have an AB that uh, does everything great on the file layer and the Mac layers, it's like without a really good scheduler that, you know, knows what it's doing, uh, your performance probably will be poor. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Like I said, this is going to be like this is like an introduction to the to the um, 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 to the uh, to the course, like to the training. It's going to be multiple. Uh, I'm going to break it, break this to into a series of small videos, uh, short videos, um, and um, I'll upload them to my um, YouTube channel, and they will also be available on my um, uh, website, uh, my personal blog. Well, thank you very much for listening and hope to see you soon. Thank you.